right? This is John Amarado and JetView's group activity, which is on page 340. <clears throat> One of the biggest issues a company faces on a ground level is the efficiency of its teams. Everyone has worked in groups to achieve a project. We've all come across the overachievers, the bare minimum members, and the team members who disappear and don't respond. In a business environment, these teams are going to be working together until members quit the company. So how do we maximize productivity? Let's take some examples from the popular sitcom, The Office, a show about a paper company's sales team. Michael Scott, the branch manager for the company, uses unconventional training to boost morale in his, his branch. In one episode, Michael forces each salesman to work in duos on on-site sales. He makes a team of two individuals that notoriously pick on each other to close a deal. They set their rivalry aside to focus on making the sale. Although they had an inamicable relationship, they turned out to be a great team and easily won over the company they pitched to. He made another team of a more experienced salesman with an eager yet wet behind the ears employee who proceeds to bomb the good negotiation but is saved by the other salesman. This taught the novice salesman valuable skills. In another episode, the manager conducted his own award show in which he invited the employees to a night out at Chili's with their friends and family to be given awards for their achievements over the year. The awards were given as trophies with each individual employee's name attached to them. The employees acknowledged that the awards were meaningless, but it was nice that they were each recognized for something unique that they did. Michael gave an award to each individual team member and took the time to recognize something each member did. In today's culture, companies are no longer seen with a loyalty point of view. Employees use a company as a stepping stone to move on to bigger things. Many work environments respond to this by making work more bureaucratic. In a lot of these episodes of The Office, there are many meetings in the conference room. In those meetings, the regional manager of the branch, Mike Scott, likes to fool and joke around with the employees. For example, he heard one of his workers saying that being in, in prison is better than working here. He makes everyone go into the conference room to have a meeting about this topic and comes up with an alter ego, ego called Prison Mike. He talks about how awful his time was in prison. Prison Mike says a lot of inappropriate thing, things to his workers, which offends them. One of the workers tries to waste even more time by asking Prison Mike pointless things like why he was in prison. Michael Scott likes to joke around, but he always puts his workers first. In an episode, Michael's friend Packer calls one of Michael's employees fat and ugly. Michael defends her by saying she's not ugly, she's cute. In a typical Michael Scott way of running things after he says something meaningful, he adds an inappropriate comment about her looks and it grosses her out. In a way, the employees appreciate him for being a good boss. Being a good boss and defending your employees always pushes them to get things done. So the question that we, that we asked before was how do we maximize productivity? In our examples, we talked about how even though two of the employees always did not get along, they, are, they remained professional and got the job done. The boss puts his employees first. Even though he jokes around a lot, he still loves his workers. Acknowledging, acknowledging your workers always creates productivity and motivation around the office. Uh, uh, these are my comments into the assignment. In regards to the work on this assignment, I believe we both put in a good amount of effort. We didn't conflict on our ideas and were able to put our ideas on this assignment. No one tried to dominate the assignment, which allowed us to both be unique. We were responsible as individuals, which made the need for a leader irrelevant. Uh, we didn't get Jet's comments, but here's our works cited page for every episode that was mentioned on here. Thank you.